Hey, awesome people of YouTube, welcome back to another Starfield Starship building video. This one will be showcasing the ship that I showed in the earlier video today. So, it is HMS Pinafore, but you can name it whatever you want. It's the name that my friend came up because he helped me build it. So, let's check it out. Ta-da! It looks really nice. So let's take a look from the outside, then we'll take a look interior, and then uh, we'll break it down and I'll tell you where you can get the parts from. You see, I like to do this little uh, structural stuff so it doesn't look just a full on block. I hide the helium tank because you know in real life you kind of want to hide them so they don't just get bl uh, blown up and destroy your ship. We have a decent amount of cargo. We have really good engines attached to the uh, our stuff, you know. So we also have our grav drive and our reactor, both hidden. You can see helium, and then there is uh, one over here, and the other one is hidden. We have two of the second best stores on each side, you know. So when we are in a multiple uh, ship fight, we have something to protect us from the sides. We have four of the best turrets facing forward as you can see two on this one and two on that one and we also have if i can get up the best gauss uh weapons you can see we have two right here with the jammer in case you want to do a little nefarious stuff you know our shield and our docker but we have two of the best gauss weapons right here and then we have the third one right here, right above our uh, landing bay. I also added this as, you know, kind of like a, for lack of a better word, solar power. I know they're not for it, but that's what it looks like from the outside. We also have good amount of uh, landing gear. So let's take a look on the inside. There is um, one ladder here. One one ladder that's all you need so first you come in into a nice <clears throat> just um a nice place look at it like very spacious you have chill area some work area you know it is two by two or three by two i don't remember specifically you know so you have a nice place right here over here uh, we have our uh, engineering on one side, you know, you have your engineering computers, blah, 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 all that cool stuff. But that's not all. Over here, we have our, you know, engineering uh, storeroom. No, not the greatest, but it's all right. We also have the windows over here so we can look at um, people coming into our uh, ship and whatever they're carrying. So, you now we're here just for engineers to chill out. Let's go to the opposite side, which is same thing. Well, not this one, right here. Is our engineering. Yeah, you know, just because it's a pretty big ship, you need some big engineering space. And we have another, kind of like a storeroom with another window. Pretty nice. I like the comp uh, the habitats, but we have our two by two uh, over here. You know, just hang around. You know, cooking some food. But over here we have our infirmary, and I like this infirmary because you got your diagnostic stuff over here. You know, you got them uh, pharmaceutical making them stuff so they can get better. Just cool stuff. And we have our nurse or doctor working over here. So pretty nice, pretty pretty nice. Now, let's get to the back. Is our big, giant, 3x3 three three cargo hold. And there's our one ladder. But, as you can see, we have a big storeroom. 3x3. Three three. Massive. You can store a lot of stuff in here. You, know, you guys hear some of the computer stuff over here. And you got nice little kind of like a caged in area with 
computer is a bunch of stuff. So, now let's get to the second floor. Let's get out there and do something new. So, I wish it didn't attach here, but here's our battle station. You know, it's two by two battle stations. We got our navigation console with people talking, and yes, I have Amelia, our heart. So, battle stations, like I said, all the way over here. You know, just because again, we are a pretty big ship. We got a lot of weaponry, so we need battle stations. Now, let's go to the side. Over here, we have one of our, uh, I forget if it's a computer room or a control room. Apologize, but we have one of those. Bunch of computers, you know. You have your diagnostics and stuff. You know, so you can relate to battle uh, stations over here. Now, unfortunately, there is no door right here, so kind of sucks because we only have uh, this one. But over here, once we come in, we have a nice mess hall. We have three by three mess hall. You know, you got cool kids playing cards over here, chilling, vibing. So pretty nice. And Dreja is just chilling, eating. Uh, Sarah's doing something. You know, you got your nice little cooking area. You, know, you got your stove, stuff like that. You got your fridges. So I enjoyed it. It definitely feels a lot better than some of the one, some of the other habitats. But here, you have your brig, where you put your uh, prisoners or pirates, stuff like that. So you have your nice desk, so you can oversee the prisoners. They have a nice chill area. You know, they have a uh, sleeping. Uh, the bench, the pooper, same on our side. Now, let's have another little diagnostics area. And I enjoy the break. You also have the pooper for yourself right here, you know. But going from the brig, you know, we go into our cockpit. It's not as big as Deimos, but I enjoyed it. You know, you got your captain locker, cargo hold, uh, armillary, but this is our cockpit. It's a lot more um, smaller than the Deimos ones because this is the Nova Galactic. But I enjoyed it because of the staircase, which eliminated the need for a ladder. But you know, you have your two extra seats on the side and you have your captain seat. Nice view, you can look at the top, Looking forward, better on the sides. But from here, we have our armory. I enjoyed this armory because you have the mannequins. And by the way, I would not put anything in on the mannequins until you're done customizing your ship. It's the same thing with anything else because it will get deleted. So once you're fully customized and you're not going to do any work, you can put stuff on the mannequin. If you have stuff on the mannequin, I would take it off. If you're making the uh, customizations to your ship, like, you know, switching habitats around, stuff like that. But you have a nice army, two mannequins, some uh, weapon cases, some weapon racks. Not a lot, but decent. Now, all the back here, we go this way to the right. And we have our uh, workshop, as you can see. You can make some industrial stuff, some weapon repairs, some spacesuit repairs. And you have a nice window looking to the side. You know, pretty cool view. And you got your, you know, desk, work area, stuff like that. Fortunate windows to the top. Now, going back over here, is you have your nice living quarters, two by two. You know, unfortunately, you only have one bed here, which is unfortunate on this side. But you got your coffee maker desk area, you know, pretty nice living quarters. Really, really nice. You got even darts. Really, really cool. I enjoyed it. Now over here in the middle, we have our uh, all-in-one, I think, habitats. We have navigation console, just more chill area, and we have our docker. Now, if we go to that, this side, we have another uh, two by two living quarters. This one has, as you can see, a nice pool table. 
so you can play pool. More hang around area, just chill. Nice, uh, what a space for your extra stuff. I wish we could have a little more beds. You have your workout, and then you have two windows on the back and on the side. And you have unfortunate. Uh, well, this one has two beds, so. But you have a nice entertainment center. You know, chill, watch movies, stuff like that, or news, whatever you want. Now, we have one last thing to check out. Definitely not, definitely not the least, but on this side, from your uh, army, we went left. Now we go right, and here we have captain quarters. Somebody threw my pillows around. Why? Oh well. But this is the captain quarters. I like this. It's a little more enclosed, like right here. You know. You have a nice, just cool area to, to, to chill and sleep in. I do have a plushie. Don't make fun of me. I'm joking. Just put it here. But it's a little more enclosed. I like it. It's more like just, just a nice feeling. But we also have our work area over here, you know, our little desk, which we pull the chair away. It's over here, our little coffee maker, stuff like that. And we have another window over here. So out of all the habitats so far, I'm enjoying the, the habitats that are used here. So let's go downstairs. Let's get out of the ship and we can go and see what type of uh, stuff we used you know it's not a maze over here and one ladder just is really really nice for a of like stuff we get so let's check the stuff out Got any hey, what can I so, do for you? let's modify our ship sure how about it but before we do that as you can see, we have really nice shields, and yes, I have a uh, shield perk. But we have 4.6k cargo, which is pretty decent. 1600 ship uh, shield, 1586 hull, max crew of 9, jump range of 30, mobility of 95, which is, for this type of ship, is really nice. Top speed of 130 and mass of 2.9k. So, let's select this stuff hopefully i will not mess it up like last time and we'll be fine as you can see i used a lot of nova galactic stuff because in my opinion it looked really really nice and it's just like the feeling that i have walking through the ship is just really nice like it definitely feels like a nice home away from home at least i would not mind living on that ship make sure i get the back windows and we'll collect this stuff so we just need one more set And then we will be good. But it might take a little bit long, but to get most of this stuff, like the habitats, you will need to visit Nova Galactic Place. And they don't, they do have a star, uh, the uh, star yard, but it's not as good. It's literally nothing there. So the best place to visit them is on Mars, and I'll show you where. But First, we have our, um, you can see we use Nova Cowlings, 2L-PF, just rotated them. This one is SF, so we just rotated them. Then we have our uh, Nova Galactic Storeroom one by one on each side over here. We have our Nova Galactic Landing Gear. Wide one on here and one on the opposite side because they have the landing thrust of four, which will require less landing gear. 
we have engineering 3x1s on each side with windows. I used Nova Cowlings on the sides over here. Just again, just a little more curvature so it's not just a flat block. We have our best healing tanks on each side. You don't need to have Starship Design. It will help you to make the best ship. Same uh, Starship Design 3, 4, uh, 4, and Piloting 4. But we have uh, landing gear on the sides over here. Three over here. Three over here. So total of eight landing gear. We have more Nova Cowlings. We have our 2x2 two two, uh, all-in-one berth attached to our infirmary. And we have our nice Gal Nova Galactic cargo hold 3x3. Three three. We used... Uh, Tayo Engineering, Astro Engineering Landing Base. So for this, you will need to go to Neon, into Ryujin Building, into Elevator, and it will be a stop of uh, Tayo Astro Engineer. They have some cool stuff, but I enjoyed their landing bay because that is the only landing bay that allows the access straight through. You don't need to go technically into the ladder up, which is why I enjoyed it because, you know, RP-wise, just realistically... If you're carrying wounded into an infirmary, you want to have a straight through. You don't want to go up the ladder. We used, as I said, our uh, really nice gauss weapons. We used really amazing uh, PB-0300 Alpha turrets. Four, and the gauss are MKE-9 gauss guns. The second best turrets are Disruptor 3340A Auto Alpha turrets. Yeah, so this is what the bottom looks like and the stuff that you need. Now, let's go to the top, and we will collect it. Now, as you can see, it does not want to uh, connect. And that is because, so we can see the weapons. So. What do you do? Very simple. I've shown it several times. You just, um, what should we call it? Glitch the cowlings, which I will do once, uh, once we go through the top. But we'll keep it right now like this, so don't yell at me. But on the second floor, we have our, uh, cargo holds. Our uh, Galleon S-201 cargo holds, they carry 720 each. That's why we have a decent cargo hold. Over here we have battle stations. We have our computer core in the middle with a brig on the other side with our mess hall. We u I used uh, Nova Bracers to make sure the engines are connected. And so I don't need to put them on the sides where cargo hold would be. We used both of those. Um bracers to make sure all the three engines are good and again we have our uh, cargo holds on this side with the little uh, more nova cowling so let's move it up let's undo Ooh. there we go now let's look at the side or the top I apologize. We have our living quarters on each of the sides. Again, we use the windows just so a little nice if you want to stop on the ship. And when you look at the windows on the back side or the top, you can. Really nice view. We have our uh, armory or all-in-one berth in the middle. You know, for passing between the, the living quarters. On this side, we have our workshop with armory in the middle and our captain quarters. I used Nova Cowlings over here just for a little you know, curvature on the top, which is where we attached our other two MKE-9 Ghost Guns. Really amazing for all damage. Not the greatest for shield. We use our Scan Jammer Multi Frequency, which you can get this at Red Mile, or if you are part of the Crimson Fleet, you can get them at the Key. You know, this is just in case you want to uh, smug contraband. I use different Nova Cowlings on each side. Yes, for this for the middle I put a shield and our uh, slim docker. You can see we have our grav jaff on 
on the side with the reactor on the opposite, made a bit more protected by our other Nova, Nova cowlings. We have windows on each side and we used a Nova Galactic bridge. It's a smaller cruise station bridge, but it's really nice because it's just two story. And again, that just say this uh, ladder. So let's connect this to the middle over here. So since we have this connected, putting this down here will be a lot easier. So remember, I didn't want to go. Well, we're going to solve it really quick. So what you want to do is, since I'm at the, actually I am at Nova Galactic, or uh, I can get Nova Galactic pieces right here. So we put one cowling above, we will be putting the windows back and you'll see why we did what we just did. Can go up? Yes. So. Oh, I know why also. I believe it's because of uh, our weapon. Maybe. To be honest, I built this a bit ago, so... Oh, no. There we go. We're good now. I don't think I needed to do this. I don't remember needing to do this stuff. But I guess I was wrong. I apologize. Um... Sometimes, unfortunately, you can audio for me like glitches out. So, apologize if you heard it. But I guess I didn't need to glitch any parts. Again, it was just a while, and I ran through New Game Plus. But this is what it will look like. You know, it's not bad if you look from the top. My friend said it looks like a like a bug, but. Or certain creature, I don't know. But it's really nice. And you don't have to design it like this. You can get away from using uh, radiators. Um, I use them just as like a you know, solar power. You know. But let's go and um, see how it is flies and stuff like that. I don't think I need to show you the weapons, how they perform, because they perform, obviously, pretty decent because of, well, they're the best weapons you can get. So, this is what it looks like on the interior. And you can see the size a little. Not too bad. Let's take off. Let's see, take off, and it will fly around just a little bit. Really, really nice. We. <laughs> I just enjoy this ship too much. And I will be recreating it in New Game Plus 10. That I'm doing right now. So, we're out here. Obviously, we're gonna need our Gravjet maxed out. We have our shields maxed out. And we can go nearly max engines. I like to keep it like this, personally, but at max speed, again, I do have skill points at 2, we are at 84, or 85, 86. The reason why we are at this speed, and it could get better, is because of the, well, engine system. So I'm getting 10%, which is not that much bigger, or that much more, but you have decent speed, you know, you can do... Uh, thrusters you know which is not bad and you have decent maneuverability if you've seen it from 95 and with the boost as you see we can go up to like 500 maybe a little more but as you can see we're shooting like this I can't showcase you the other ones but trust me this uh, ship is really nice it's worth it in cargo again 4.6k is not a huge amount it's not like big chungas but this is a lot more 
maneuverable and it has everything and it looks a lot nicer but with that said i hope you enjoyed this if you did leave a like comment subscribe because this does take a bit of time to build to look make sure it's nice and uh yeah with that said i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to stay awesome and i'll see you in the next one bye bye